Hello people, this is Beth from America Collector, and today we're going to talk about Crown Zenith. So I'm going to be honest, today's video is not going to have that much value. It's going to be more of an informative video, and then after we'll have seen what's going on with some Crown Zenith cards, some prices, we'll try to draw a few conclusions that perhaps could help us identify what could be the next play in the market. So before we get started, as always, if you want to join a growing community of Pokemon collectors and investors, then highly recommend you join the Discord, especially if you are in the European Union like myself. But regardless, there are people from all over the world, which just makes me very happy. And then I highly recommend you stay tuned for Saturday's video, as there is going to be a big announcement here for the channel that would potentially change the way we look at Pokemon investing. Expectations are high, but I can assure you something big, at least in my opinion, is about to happen. And then last but not least, they're gonna break a box of Paradox Rift this Sunday here on the channel on a live stream. So getting started with the ETB, which we open here on the channel, I have two left from the opening, so I don't really have a, a big position myself. I all have two ETBs mainly because I'm not a fan of sets, especially sets that don't have booster boxes. I prefer having booster boxes as they do carry more of the premium historically, apart when it comes to the first ETBs. So talking, speaking about the era where ETB have been printed to oblivion. So I'm not talking about the obviously black and white era, the end of black and white when they were introduced and then X and Y that are notoriously known for being more expensive than their booster box counterpart. So that is the main reason why I don't have a big position. Otherwise I am been a big fan of the set. I strongly believe, and this is obviously my personal opinion, it is the best set when it comes to artworks in the Shul and Shiro era. It's probably really close to Evolving Skies, but again, looking at these cards, this is only the first page, how can you look like this? Like the Red Gigas, the Mew, which we pulled on the stream, by the way, the Samura, and then obviously you have the gold cards, the Dark Cry, the three legendary beasts or dogs, whatever you want to call them. Lumine the which you also pull, it's just amazing in person. You have here the two evolution. So overall, it's it's a great set. I'm a big fan. And uh, as you can see here on Tissue Players, now we're taking a look at American prices. It is a bit cheaper in the EU. You can still find, because we have had a reprint in uh, February of 2024 in the European Union, you can still find it for 41 to 42 euros. And here they are selling for right around $44. And uh, before the reprint, as you can see, they were hidden above $60. So it, this right here tells me that demand was there. Demand was pretty strong in this set. And uh, eventually once supply dries out sooner or later, we could, I'm not saying we will, we could expect prices to, to go back to where they were, if not, and potentially even higher. So I want to take a look, a quick look at what is going on with this singles. And we're going to take a minute to think about which one specifically have increased the most. So here the Giratina, which you could argue is the chase card from, from this set, even though I did hear some comments about saying how small the Giratina was in the card. So it, it wasn't really a fan favorite because it was so small compared to other artworks. But you can see here, it is Spy ever since basically last month where it's been sitting here. The green line, as you can see, is PSA 10 prices. And now it is right around Two hundred dollars. The Arceus, same story. The Mewtwo, same story. As you can see here, if we take a look, even at closer look, I usually like to take a look at auctions. So no auctions, no auctions. This was raw. So last PSA ten sold for one hundred twenty dollars at auction. So this has also been moving higher in PSA ten, as you can see here. And then the Leafian also has moved quite significantly. It's now starting to sell above $75 actually. I've checked on 130 points, so eBay sales. And uh, from the 50 where it was, it's actually a over 50% increase. And the Glacian here, the other evolution is said, has had pretty much the same path. Now the Sukun also be moving higher, but not as much as it appears. And then the Entei and the Raikou, so the other two dogs or beasts, whatever you want to call them again, don't really seem to have moved that much compared to a bit over than a month ago. Also worth mentioning that the Raikou still played in the meta, so that's why, or at least that could be why, it is more expensive, as you can see here, above $70 than the other two, especially the Entei, which is the cheapest. And I mean, looking at the artworks, 
not surprised it is the cheapest and then last but least the cry i'm a big fan of which as you really move it's it is gonna a bit higher but again not as significantly as the gold cards the Matu, and then the two evolution so that being said i wanna i don't want to end the video here i want to talk about what i just said that is the gold cards the Mewtwo, the Leafian, and the glacian have seen significantly larger increase when it comes to psa 10 graded copies than the other cards in the Galarian gallery how come well i don't know for sure but what i can come up with is the gold cards the Mewtwo, and then you have the two evolution we know how much the market loves evolution whether it's pure love based you know pure demand based on actual fan favorite pokemon or just because what happened after evolving skies so no matter where that demand comes from we can see here on price that the market likes so there is demand for these cards so what i can think of what could be the next card that is in a psa 10 has been dropping and it has been stabilizing for quite some time and that is the main chase card of, of the, that set and it is also a fan favorite well after a few minutes of thinking and uh, just as many minutes of research that's what i came up with the charger ex from a evening flame which wait a minute i'm not saying go buy this card in psa 10 right now because you're going to be rich i'm saying this card has been dropping it is now stabilizing but it's just been a month so personally what i would do is wait i ideally i would like this to drop even lower it is the chase card of the set it is a charger i do like the upgrade myself i do believe that the charger from the podium fates looks better but nonetheless i do like the, the card the set is almost one year old so ideally again i would like this to age even more ideally at least two years but it's definitely a card that i'm going to keep an eye on and uh that's why we seen your team stagnant as soon as demand spiked price obviously followed so again not much value in today's video hope you appreciate it either way i'm curious to know what you guys think about the charger are you a fan of the artwork do you think you could do well long term and then again hope to see you in the discord hope to see you soon in the next video thanks for watching